Kwame Asherala, all praises and glory goes to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rikakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations unto the elect and feeding the sheep of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh in sincerity and truth with this great gospel. With this great gospel, man. As we continue to watch the demise and the downfall of Babylon the Great. And um, it says, what's wrong with America? Man, there's a lot of things wrong with America, man. And um, when we're dealing with America, we're talking about the people. The people, right? The vibration of the people, the way the people operate, the, pe the way the people think, right? The way the people maneuver, right? You got these people, man, really, they got that plague of a mind like it speaks about in the scriptures. Matter of fact, let's get that verse. I'm going to read the book of Ecclesiasticus 25 and 13. It reads, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. We know your heart goes in, is your mind, right? These people got mental disorders, right? And any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. I'm reading it again. Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. One thing we could clearly see that the plagues are here in Egypt, in spiritual Egypt. Right? The plagues are here in spiritual Egypt when it comes from poverty, right? Poverty is spreading all throughout America. So many people don't lost their jobs and couldn't recover. Couldn't recover and couldn't re um retain the things that they had, right? Their riches, their wealth, their bank accounts, their cars, their houses. A lot of people used to own houses are now renting or living in shelters or living in tent cities. Right? And that's what you got going on and problem with america drug addiction brings on these different problems too right you got these people on these different medications they're taking different street narcotics right fucking their minds up right you got mental disorder bipolar depression right anxiety right paranoia schizophrenia right all type of ptsd right all these different disorders that these so-called americans right americans are suffering from right as the plague of the mind, the Lord is opening up. These people are feeling the plague. And one thing we know that you can't do nothing to fight off the plague. You can't um you can't stop the plagues. Right? You can't go to your source your sorcerers and your witches to get a spell to put an end to these plagues. These plagues are gonna continue to multiply in this place. But it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse because we already know that what they, what else did they do? They closed down a lot of these mental homes, right? A lot of these mental homes were closed down, and we got a lot of these psychotic people all over the streets of America. All over the streets of America, man. <laughs> so what you got, 25% estimated percent of primary care patients with a diagnosed mental disorder. Under 4% um, rate of psychiatric consultation for medical imp impatience, right? What's another thing, too? There's no help. Like I was saying, the, the medication don't help, right? The psychiatry don't help. I used to work at a, um, at a hospital for a long time, and that hospital was connected to a psych ward. And um, I seen how they dealt with these patients, and um, there was no solution for the problem. The only thing was to, what, numb them down, if you know what I mean. Numb them down, keep um, fucking sed sedate them. <laughs> Right, sedate them, numb them down, and um, calm them down. That's the only thing. And another thing, restraints. Right? We know Esau Edom don't have a solution. I'm gonna read this. It says, um, nine eight eight suicide lifeline sees big boost in calls its first months. Right? That's what you got going on. Right? A lot of people are calling these suicide hotlines. That's a spirit of Esau Edom. I can't take it no more. Help! Help, my life sucks. That's the spirit of Esau Edom right now. His life sucks, man, because what his scripture said, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And we're seeing his society go down, right? The moral moral, the moral spirit of these people is low, right? Um, the spiritual, they have no spiritual sense whatsoever. So they have no, no help, right? It says, why experts worry TikTok could add to mental health crisis among U.S. teens, <laughs> right? They already fucked up. Tech giant sued over mental health crisis amongst the youth in U.S. We need a mental health supply chain to address the crisis, the crisis. Officials say mental health crisis led to death of mom and two children. See? It's, it's, hey, the plagues.
I'm read the book of Romans 8 and 28. It reads, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the most high. To them who are, the, I'm going to read it again. To them who are the called according to his purpose. To them who are called according to his purpose, right? All things work good for them, right? You see, we have something to put our um, hope in, our faith in, something to pray to, right? Anytime some go wrong, infirmities. Um, shit, you could be under stress, high stress from work and from life, whatever. What you gonna do? You gonna call in your how about shimmy outside, right? And the Lord's gonna make a solution, he can bring a solution, make a path for you to escape that, that torture in your mind, right? Because the Lord ain't gonna give you more than you could bear. But these people in this society here in Babylon the Great, they are fucked. They gonna, they, they gonna get more than they could bear. They gonna be losing their goddamn minds. That's why that 988 hotline is getting so many calls for people who want to um, get rid of their lives, who want to commit suicide, who no longer want to be here, right? That's the spirit here in Babylon the Great. People no longer want to be here. I'm read the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It reads, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, right? That's the spirit right now in America. There's no pleasure in life. These people have no pleasure in their lives because it's what they're miserable, right? They see there's no hope in their future. There's no solution for the problems that's at hand, right? Right? These people are destined to be destroyed, right? The way the way the vibration of this society is moving, you know a missile is coming. <laughs> a missile is coming. The spirit of sodomy, <laughs> the spirit of murder, the spirit of robbery, the spirit of covetousness and um, adultery at an all-time high. So something special is coming to this place in this um, destruction. I'm reading. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun, nor the light, nor or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow, bow themselves. And the grinders seize because they are few. And that's what's happening right now. The jobs are seizing, right? Um, there's few jobs, right? Employment is low, but few jobs. Um, motherfuckers wasting time putting resumes together right now, right? There's businesses they shut down. These businesses might have a, not a hiring sign on the outside, but guess what? They're not hiring, right? It's a farce the size they're trying to put, trying to make it look like America's still going. America's food. In what verse four, and the door shall be shut in the streets, and the sound of the grinding is low. And you, that, that brings depression when the American can't pay their bills, when American can't buy what they want. Yeah, that spirit of um hopelessness starts kicking in, and, right? Worthlessness, right? That's how these people feel. They feel hopeless, worthless, because um shit, they have that pride, right? They were so prideful, especially these college graduate motherfuckers who thought. <laughs> That paper was going to be the solution to their lives, to a better life, right? And get your ass in that unemployment line. These people got them food stamps, right? Waiting for public assistance, right? And these are college graduates, right? People with masters, associates and bachelors and all this shit. That means nothing. That means nothing in this society right now that the spirit of depression is coming in, right? Hopelessness worthlessness, <laughs> despair, right? That's the spirit, man. The Lord said he was going to bring this place down. I'm read the book of 1 Peter 5 and 7. And it reads, um, I'm going to start at 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High. Yeah, how about Shimei? I'm going to read again. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you, right? Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour, right? I'm going to read that again. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Yeah, that's what we got to do. Right? We can't be like these people. These people are um, trying to <laughs> do everything themselves. They think they got everything in they palm, the world in the palm of their hands. They find it out they are um, powerless. Right, they have um. They thought they they votes counted. <laughs> they thought they politics counted. They thought that bullshit religion they were in counted. Nothing matters in this society. The only thing that matters is 
this truth, right? This truth, this gathering of the elect of the children of Israel. That's the only thing that matters. These people in their colleges and their institutions, that don't mean nothing, right? Casting all your care upon him for who cares for you, for who the children of Israel. You don't give a fuck about these other people, man. That's why these other people are suffering. They're losing their minds. They're losing their houses. They're losing their wealth. <laughs> they're losing everything. 